Welcome to episode 12, guys, with the doctor in the dark here. This is Frank speaking with our co-hostess, Olivia. Hi, everyone. So this week, uh, I think we're going to have a long podcast. We got some things to go over here, but we have some shout outs to do real quick. Yeah. Olivia's going to take over for those. Yeah, so I'll take us away. So first of all, we have 156 listens. So thank you to our, our loyal doctor and dork followers for supporting us in this mission. We have eight Instagram followers, which are all just our friends that we've <laughs> tagged in pictures and who feel now <laughs> obligated to follow us. I appreciate you guys that. rock. Anyways. We have eight YouTube subscribers. I don't know who you are. We've got a few upvotes. we got at least one upvote on every YouTube video. And we're getting lots of spam comments for active dating sites. So, Mm. you know, we're at least in the periphery that we're getting spam. So I feel like at least two of our, you know, commenters are Russian spam bots. And then I think a couple of the subscribers might be my cousins in Florida. Ah, So cousins, you guys are appreciated. Um, and then we have six follow followers on Podbean. I wanted to give a shout out to Jen, who is a consistent commenter, and Sean, who recently commented for the first time. Yes, thank you, Sean. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you, friends and family. Um, but besides that, we're gonna move through our week and you know just chat about whatever came to our <laughs> mind ten minutes before we started, which is a lot more than you might think. Yeah. But this week, I have begun my move in with Frankie. Um, so that's been going pretty well. I want to give a shout out to my mom. She came this weekend, helped me clean and organize some stuff. We went to the beach because obviously if you come an hour from the ocean, you have to at least go to the ocean for a little bit. Um, but yeah, most of my move is done. The only thing I have left is my couch and bed, which I'm very anxious about getting my couch. Olivia doesn't (laughs) think that a couple of strapping young men (laughs) can finagle this couch out of her apartment. Mm-mm. Now, I just want to point out that some not so strapping old men were able to finagle this thing into the apartment. Yeah, but when you say old men, it was kind of like your grandpa Barry. Like, they might have been, the guy might, there's one young and one older. The guy oh, might have okay. been older, but if it wasn't for that older guy, that young guy was ready to be like, yo, ma'am, I'm sorry, this couch ain't getting into this apartment. So, look, they had some. You know, they they had a wise man with them, <laughs> all right? You know, he figured it out, and they had some young muscle. But maybe I'll have the but, brains and the muscle this But, time. you know, we'll have Olivia to micromanage and uh, <laughs> shit talk us. And then I will uh, have, you know, myself and my buddy Sean, Matt, and AJ yeah. uh, to help lift this thing because, you know. My mom told me consistently that I should tell my across-the-hall neighbor that we might need to get into her apartment to back up. Oh, into. we're just going to ram that door down yeah, at the couch. I did it. I didn't. So on Saturday when Matt's like, yo, is there any chance that maybe we can see if she's home and get her to open? I'm like, I don't know. My mom told me to do that 12 times and none of the times <laughs> did I take her up on that advice. So we can see how that goes. But besides that, moving is going pretty well. Um, I don't really know. I can put in some other fun bits here, like all of the ice cream I ate. So we haven't done like a real grocery shopping yet since I've moved in. No, we did like a half-assed one. We did a cleaning trip. Yeah. And then we got some extras. And one of those extras was some ice cream. (laughs) And so if you guys ever just, especially this work at home situation, you know. No, this is for the ladies. All right. (laughs) Ladies. Have you ever eaten all of the ice cream that you bought with your boyfriend or husband (laughs) and then turned around and replaced the tub of ice cream trying to fool him (laughs) to thinking that it was the same tub? Because Olivia tried. Who would do that? (laughs) I know. I'm shocked. Yeah, I just, I had to eat it all. There was, (laughs) but I'm sitting in my little homemade office and I'm like, "Mm, I could really go for a snack. And I know that that thing of ice cream's on there. It's just really hard to not go for it. Mm. It's some good ice cream. I'm going to give them a shout out. It's called Guilford. It's local, but it's good because like you pointed out tonight, it's always soft. You know, usually you got to wait 10 minutes for the ice cream to be sitting out, but this is some good ice cream. Well, sometimes your ice cream is like really uh icy instead of creamy yeah it's yeah. icy or other times it's hard as a brick mm-hmm. and then you know which i guess is nice occasionally like i like my chocolate ice cream like that but then there's other ice creams you get and like they just never seem to freeze right mm. but this one is like just Perfect. a soft texture yeah frozen well it's just very good yeah we got the sea salt caramel truffle the one i ate all of was the cookie caramel crunch and it's basically <laughs> really delicious. drugs in a container like yeah. i'm already hooked i had two bites and i'm hooked but uh 
That's that. All right, guys. So I'm going to copy Family Guy here, and I want this little quick segment. This isn't going to be a regular thing, I don't think. But I want to talk about some stuff that really grinds my gears here. Oh, boy. All right. So, you know, I'm waiting on an Amazon package right now. I needed some new locks for my hitch on my truck. And uh, it occurred to me that my package has said it is 10 stops away all day. (laughs) Since I think I got a message at 6 o'clock this morning. Or when I woke up. So 6.15. You called me at noon and you told me, hey, it should be there soon. They've sent me three messages. In fact, when I got out of the shower a little while ago, it even said it was 10 stops away again. Still? It sent it's still on my phone. It's wow. still yeah, it says four minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. This, this is insane. It has been ten stops away all day. So I just wanna know guys, is it just me or do your Amazon packages never get I've never received well, an let me Amazon ask you package a early. When did you order this? Well yesterday. So it, it was oh. next day. But even still I have never gotten an Amazon package early. They always show up at like 5 p.m. And now I'm considering yeah. maybe it's where I live. But then my mm. old roommates, Sam and Andy, got Amazon packages in the morning. Really? Yeah. I never do. It's not like you live somewhere really rural. I, I could see if you no. live somewhere rural. So, but I don't with know. With that, I could say, I so this whole two-day shipping isn't that what they promised with your Prime election? Well, it was like one-day shipping, but... I feel like... Back in the day, they used to hold really true to that. And I think as time goes on, they're getting a little more lax on Like, well, nobody will notice if it takes us two and a half days to get there. You know I mean? <laughs> Meanwhile, everybody's like, here, Amazon, let me pay you $150 for my year-long subscription to your service. You know what mm. I mean? But, but yeah, no, I'm just a little, I don't want to say frustrated, but I'm like... I don't get it. Why don't I get my packages early? I see other people with Amazon packages before noon. It's because it's all, it's like a, I actually looked into doing this as a sidekick, <laughs> but I didn't. It's because it's all like independent contractors that actually deliver your package. Mm. It's like people can sign, it's kind of like an Uber driver, but you're an Uber driver for Amazon packages. Or like a Grubhub, but you're a Grubhub for Amazon packages. So like they have individual people that go out and they'll pick up like a lot full of packages that need to be delivered all around and they'll make the stop to do it. I've heard it actually pays pretty well. I'd imagine so. Because, I mean, you, you got to work quick, though. Mm-hmm. It's not easy working for Amazon. If you guys don't know that, Amazon is uh, a tough place. They, they're a tough gig. Yeah, I've heard pretty bad things about working Yeah, there. you don't want to work in one of those warehouses. <laughs> but they are probably employing half of America. So yeah, like, that's true. <laughs> what are you going to do? So, I feel like we had something else for that. Um, for Amazon? No, no, no. For, for the, our week in review? Yeah, no, the grind our gears um, thing. You're the only... Was it... Spilling these punch pops everywhere? No, no, that's just me not having hand eye coordination. No, I think uh, that's uh, all right. I, I was gonna talk it. about working out real quick before we oh, move yeah, into yeah, our yeah. segments. So, Frankie and I have started working out this week, and I know you're thinking, wicked lame. <laughs> yeah, we're Frankie thinks I talk too quiet on the podcast, so she does. he's moved it so close, and he's not wrong. <laughs> I need to be across the room because I am loud and obnoxious. And Olivia is quiet and reserved. She's loud when she's not recording. <laughs> but you put her on a recorder and suddenly she sounds like a mouse. And I, I'm sorry, guys, if you listen to this and then suddenly it's me blaring and then suddenly you can't hear yeah, anything. Yeah, that actually happened the other day when I was listening to the car. I had to, like, turn you down and then I had to turn me back up. <laughs> so I am sorry about that. We're actually getting a microphone, guys. So <laughs> next episode, episode 13. Um, High quality podcast. We will have a new microphone. We're also delaying our book review a week oh, because... Yeah. Olivia and I, we're not anticipating the move and everything else, so we've been a bit busy. Um, so we will be doing our book review for A Witch in Time, um, and we're going to go more in depth, and we'll have spoilers this time. Ooh. It didn't feel right not having spoilers for the yeah, last one. Yeah, I think one. we need to have a you little bit You can't do a good a book review without talking. You know what else I think we're going to do on the next one? We're going to, when we pick our next book, we're just going to read the straight summary from the back mm, of the book. Rather that than would make sense. Paraphrasing it into one <laughs> sentence. Anywho, working yeah, out. Working out. Yesterday was like day. I don't know, you guys ever go a while without working out, and then you work out, and you're just like... Crippled. I, yeah, you're just like, I have lifted nothing, and yet I'm sore than I've ever been in my life. That's basically where we're at today. But I think it's going to be good for us. And, I don't know. Well, I'm into, I'm, I'm excited to see where the lifting goes. I, I'm, I want to get back into shape. Well, really good shape again. Um, also, guys, 
we're going to keep blaring this, but coming up, starting the last week of September and running the first three weeks of October, well, we try and do a full 30 days, but we are going to be doing Sober October. Yes, this was taken from the Joe Rogan podcast. Oh my God, my, that's where it's taken from? Yes. Never mind, I don't want to do it anymore. So <laughs> my good buddy Matt and I did this a long time ago, and uh, guys, I tell you what, it is a great month. So break it down for us. What does sober define as? So sober October is where you cut as much of the synthetic things out of your diet. If you enjoy your pot, no pot for a month. Mm. If you enjoy your caffeine, mm. coffees, teas, lattes, all nine yards, ladies. TSLs, shout yeah. out, came so, out today, everyone. <laughs> um, so they don't, uh, so no caffeine. What about sugar? Um, like, can I so eat ice cream we, in moderation? It's not a rule, but it's we do try. And, yeah, it's, we try and eat as healthy as possible uh, for the month. Um, no alcohol, guys. So basically, we try and kick all the vices out of our diet. What about like uh, heroin? Um, no, that's allowed. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. And good, meth, good. methamphetamine, um, ketamine. <laughs> yes, you're allowed to. We encourage ketamine. That okay. really helps with your workouts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, it's probably what's <laughs> um, in your pre-workout. But no, so guys, we really, I, you know, I, I, I've done it. This will be my third year in a row doing it, and I have to say, I really enjoy doing it for a month you feel fantastic not gonna lie the first week is seriously hell. this will be the first time with the ladies though right? it is true so and we also upped it um if you guys would like to join in on it we turn it into a bit of a fitness competition now this is a fitness competition where the playing field is leveled we wear heart rate monitors and based off of your heart rate activity so truthfully you don't need to be in fantastic shape to have your heart rate go up you, need, you know, it's whatever gets the job done. Really, if you're in terrible shape, it's going to take even less effort to I get know, your right? heart rate. Yeah, right you now. just walk up some stairs. <laughs> it's like the rest of us got to go run five miles. <laughs> but um, no, so we're going to have some heart rate monitors. That'll be cool. Um, but yeah, so if you guys are interested, uh, we'll post the information on our Instagram, maybe on our YouTube. We'll put it in the description, I think. Sure. Um, maybe not this episode, but we'll do maybe it Maybe I think next, next week yeah. I'll put it up. But right? yeah, so we're anticipating the last week of September and the first three weeks of October so we can party for, you know, Halloween. Ooh. Um, maybe one a day in October we can discuss Halloween costumes. True. But yeah, so we use the MZ3 guys from my zone. That is the uh, heart rate monitor that we use. Um, you have to buy one, and there's an app associated with it. Um, in order to get onto the app, you have to buy one. My apologies for saying that backwards. Um, but it is a really nice tool. I've let Olivia use it. I don't know. What do you think about it? I like it, but... I don't know. It's all right. Um, I, I personally thought... <laughs> thanks. <laughs> no, no, that's Being fine. Being honest. It's not for everybody. Um, truthfully, it's not for everyone, but it's I not going like to break the I don't like that it tells you what like, your MEPs or whatever. I just want to know what my heart rate was. Why well, don't you show me what my heart... I don't, could care less what these made up points are that you've concocted oh, and now you God. think I'm interested well, in. Well, anyway... <laughs> It can show your allegedly. Well, I'm gonna buy one oh this week. God. We'll let you know if it actually. Well, guys, the heart rate monitor will only run you about 115. dollars um, I'm sure you can get it on sale from Amazon. Um, but really cool tool. Um, really stepped my workouts out. My workouts up, out. Um, workouts out. Yeah. <laughs> get at me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, really stepped my game up just because uh, it showed me like I wasn't going as. Uh, as hard as I thought I was. Mm. So it, it definitely... Uh, Too in shape. I know. Well, you know, it showed me I was being late. I was taking shortcuts. Ooh. I knew I was, but this was like the proof in the front of me. Evidence. And I was like, dang, dang. I guess dang. I got to really go after it. <laughs> Get after it. Yeah. All right. So, but are we going to roll into the doctor segment? Yeah, I think we'll roll into the doctor segment. Is that cool with you? We'll take it away, doc. So um, Frankie last night asked me this trivia question. So I thought I would pose it to the doctor and drug nation and say, how long does it take to pump blood from your foot all the way up to your heart and back down to your oh. foot again? Well, specifically, guys, I said your right big toe <laughs> to the heart and down to the left big toe. I think this will be about the same time. Yeah. Anyway, so upon a an in-depth Google search, <laughs> what I found was... 45 seconds, and we had guessed about 30 seconds, so I think we did a pretty good job. We said 30 to a minute. Yeah. yeah, so we were pretty on point, so in case you were curious about that. And it also, for whatever reason, made me think about one of the coolest pharmacy drugs, I think. So, like, 
when you're giving CPR and you're in the middle of like a code for some sort of heart issue, usually some sort of like ventricular tachycardia, one drug you give is called adenosine. And the thing that's cool about this drug is that when you push it into the IV, you have to immediately follow it with like 20 mils of saline. And that's because the half-life of it's so short, it only lasts 10 seconds. So after 10 seconds, half the drug's already decayed and it's gone. What does it do? It slows down the signal to the AV notes. Basically, it makes the heartbeat slower. So when you're in tachycardia, your heart's going berserk. So the goal of this is to slow down the heart and get it to be in normal rhythm. So you got to pump them full of a ton of it? So you get, No, you just give them a shot. But the issue is if you don't follow it up with that 20 mils of saline, that 45 seconds that it takes to get stuff throughout your body is... Too, it's going to be too short. All the drugs going to be gone by the time it gets to your heart. Oh. So you follow it up with like an extra little, little push, a little extra something something, something behind it. Yeah. And it helps get it to the heart a little quicker. Oh, so okay. Like that. so That's interesting. Cool. Um, and if any of you guys haven't done your ACLS in a while, I didn't know this, but um, before your you're like advanced cardiac life support training. Oh, I heard CLS and I heard combat lifesaver, which is yeah. the <laughs> medic course for the army. <laughs> Usually they used to be, it used to be you give like a, Six milligram dose, and then you could follow it by two more, 12 milligrams. But I guess they're down to only two doses now that's recommended. So that's pretty interesting. Um, Next, I came across an article that polio has officially been ridded of in Africa. Really? Isn't that so interesting? I feel like we have Steve Jobs, or not Steve Jobs, Bill Bill Gates Gates to thank for this. (laughs) Yeah, I guess. He's really, like, not to, like... I don't Go know ahead, how to say word something this. offensive. Get us yeah, whatever. Off I'll of say iTunes. offensive. Whatever. I feel like we have. Uh, I keep trying to say Steve Jobs, but Bill Gates to thank for all the progress that's been made in Africa because that has been his focal point on yeah. really curing disease and helping those people out. You know, yeah. he's really made it his life mission as, as you know a philanthropist and really getting out there and like he. I don't know. He donates a lot to American charities. Yeah, for sure. But he is like, we watched the documentary and he's out there trying to build yeah. new toilets. It was a he's good trying to get rid of dysentery. He apparently you know what the worked best part polio. about it too is based on like what he seemed to like from that documentary. Like if he heard some of these successes, I don't think he'd at all take the credit for it. I think he'd be like, yeah, we had a really great team that like luckily all put their heads together and helped figure it out. Oh, yeah. Even though like without him, none of those people yeah. would have came together. Yeah, you know what I mean? The, I mean, the funding wouldn't have been there. The yeah. people, he... He's connected the right people. Mm. He's funded them. He's given them, you know, he, and you know what it is? He takes the time to actually learn what they're doing. Yeah. So he doesn't get bullshitted. You know, mm. they, they don't, um. Can't pull the wool over his yeah, eyes or whatever. He, he can keep up in the conversation. I mean, he's not going to know it as well as some of them because sure. you can't know everything. I mean, I don't know. Maybe Bill Gates can. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, but. He yeah. really helps push it on. That is just a really driven guy that I tell you what, the day he passes, the world is really going to lose. It's true. He is just. But anyways, this is not the Bill Gates <laughs> segment. This is the doc <laughs> segment. <laughs> so yeah, the last few years, they were only actually lingering with a case or two a year. Nigeria was the last one to finally nix it. But it's had right now only Afghanistan and Pakistan are the only countries left that still have polio cases circling around. Pretty really? wild, right? I wonder how many cases they get every year. I know. I'm pretty interested in that as well. I- I was just saying, my grandmother had it. I know you yeah. always bring that up. Very yeah, my grandmother had it on her. Uh, if you're her trying legs. to push, if you're trying to convince an anti-vaxxer and any vaccines, I'd say polio would be a great place to start. Yeah, it's one of the most like uh, you can show them pictures of like the, the iron, iron lung. lung. <laughs> yeah, it's like the, the most yeah living in a metal tube. For yeah, the, the rest of your I think short that's life. pretty convincing. That's, yeah. Um, the last thing I wanted to talk about was a question that Frankie had posed to me last week, but we didn't have time for it, and we probably don't also have time this week, but I'm going to do it anyways. It is, so I have asthma, right? And my asthma is pretty well controlled with my maintenance inhaler. And once in a blue moon, I have to use my rescue inhaler. But he was saying, you know, like this running I've been doing, how has my asthma been with all that? So... I looked up, like, my asthma's been okay, so I was trying to figure out, like, why does exercise actually make your asthma better? Because you would kind of, like, assume the opposite to be true. Like, it'd make your asthma worse if you're always sending your lungs into (laughs) arrest. So I came up, I found a few different um, reasons, and I'm going to tell you what they are. 
So the first one is what I was kind of thinking when you would first ask me this is just that like your heart's getting stronger. So since you're more fit, you can oxygenate stuff better and therefore your whole body just doesn't have to work as hard to get that oxygen. Well, you can operate with less oxygen. You can go farther with less is the the concept. So I'm willing to bet some cardiopulmonary role plays in there. The next one I read was, I don't know, an interesting theory, though I don't really believe it. And this was that... Essentially, you're inhaling... The reason why you have asthma when you're running is that you're inhaling allergens at a quicker rate than you usually are. And that actually, if you run inside, you'll have less asthma-induced events than if you run outside. That's interesting. It is interesting. I guess I can see the logic, but I don't really think that's entirely true. But the most convincing one I found is that... Essentially, you're building tolerance, so the best kind of comparisons I have is anybody who had, like, really bad allergies when they were a kid and maybe went and you got, like, weekly allergy shots. Well, let's say, like, a peanut allergy, right? Yeah. Like, they recommend, if you have a peanut allergy, like, as a kid, they recommend exposing you to peanut butter. Exactly. Same thing with, like, a penicillin allergy. So they'll basically give you, like, minuscule doses of penicillin so that your body essentially gets trained not to overreact. And they're saying that exercising when you have asthma probably has a similar role. You're basically training your body not to overreact and tolerate it better. Hmm. Well, I I only brought it up with you just because you have it. And, you know, while I was in the Army, I had several buddies who, Mm. uh, you know, had said they had asthma. Whether or not they did, I never, you know, I'm not a fact checker. So, (laughs) but, you know, they said they had had, you know, mild case asthma. But they said after, you know, you know, getting into cardio and starting to run with me more often... They, they could just breathe better in general, which I just chalked up to, well... Being fit. Yeah, now you're <laughs> fit and you just, you yeah. know, it, you lost some weight and you cleared your airways and you just, you feel better, yeah. you know. I always chalked it up that, but then, you know, a couple of years later, it just occurred to me that, you know, maybe there is something to it. Maybe that uh, getting out there and really working your lungs through, you know, rigorous running like that, because yeah. you, you're working your heart, you're working your legs, your lungs, I mean, yeah. you're working your whole body. That's true. So, yeah. but um, that's all I got for my doctor segment. I feel like that was quite a bit this week. So, time for Frankie to take over with his dork segment. All right, guys. So I actually we're jamming along this week. I didn't think we were gonna be. I feel like we're moving pretty quick. Yeah. I feel like we have a lot written down. It's because I did a lot of talking and I talk at like one point <clears throat> five times speed rather than normal speed. The sound of a mouse at <laughs> one point five times, ladies and gentlemen. Got to slow it, is. it down and turn it up. <laughs> So, um, this week I have, uh, there's a new movie coming out. So one of my favorite directors of all time is Ridley Scott. He directed Aliens. Um, I wish I could say more of his stuff, but I truthfully don't know. I just, I love the Aliens franchise as a whole. How Um, many Alien movies are there? There are, well, you have the four originals, then you have AVP, AVP Requiem. Are they like scary movies? Are they thrillers? Um, they're or? like horror thrillers, okay. like sci-fi horror thrillers. Okay. Um, because they do have some suspense to them, because the alien isn't actively there the whole time, like mm. killing people. Just the idea He's always of the alien. hiding in the shadows I somewhere, see. and he picks somebody off. All And it's I always see. like, not always, but a lot of times it's off screen mm. that the kills happen. You never really see. The see yeah. yeah. So and some of them you do. But not all. Okay. Um, it's it's just personally one of my favorite franchises. But anyway, um, he's coming out with a HBO series called Raised by Wolves that Olivia and I stumbled upon tonight, and uh, it's based off basically America, not America. The the world went to hell in a handbasket, and they left the planet with a I guess a guy and an android and a bunch of kids. And they raised the kids on a new planet, and the yeah. android is like a war machine that's the, trying to be a mother. Android, just for clarification for listeners, is not an android phone. It's like an it's like an artificial intelligence person. Is well, if how you guys I know it. aliens, then you know what I'm talking. We're oh, talking do about, they call them androids there yeah. too? Really? Well, they're like humanoid machines. I see. Okay. So you're human like machines. All right. Um, they can. I'm think thinking else. So they went up there with a cell phone. With a cell cool. phone. Yeah. <laughs> um, but so that's coming out. Uh, I believe it was September. September 3rd, it's going to hit, uh, it'll be released on TV. Do you know, are the movie theaters open yet? I was talking to somebody about this. I don't movie. know. I haven't seen any movie theaters open. Hmm. Um, so guys, next, a while back I talked about the Go- the Lord of the Rings Gollum video game. 
and they released a trailer, and I have to say, everything except for Gollum looks fantastic. It's ironic. It starts <laughs> off in this creepy cave, and you see Gollum in the background, and it looks cool. And then it shows him sneaking into Mordor, and then he turns, and he's got this weird-looking face. Nothing like he looked in the movie. Like, just, it did not what I imagined Gollum looking like in the video game. They've had yeah. other video games, and they made him look like the actor in the movie. Mm. And, uh, honestly, I hope they fix that. <laughs> I do. Because, uh, it was very off Does he just, does he look bad, or is it just that he it looks, looks different? Bad. No, okay. it looks bad. Like, like uh, guys, if you recall the Sonic outrage, when they went to release that, mm. they released a trailer and everybody basically vetoed the movie before it was even out, and then they had yeah, to go yeah. back to production and redo how Sonic looked. Yeah. Same thing. I see. So, I'm like... It's just, only, I, do you think they, like, tried to do something new and they just failed completely? I think so. I think, I wonder if it had some, some something to do with, like, uh, copyright, like, likeness. Oh, uh, Where, that's like, they possible. couldn't do, like, something spot yeah. on. Well, but anyway, they released a trailer for it. I'm kind of excited. Um, next, I have a uh, quick question, guys, about our app stores. Well, less of a question, more of a quandary. Um, quandary? Yeah, an idea to <laughs> yeah, think yeah, about. Yeah, so, um, so, Fortnite basically uh you know how it is with uh, the app store so your app store you can download stuff and then in your you know inside your apps you can buy stuff and everything's so expensive well the reason it's expensive is uh google uh, what is it who does android um google, yeah google play Go google does android okay so yeah google and apple uptick from what i was reading 30 percent of that's why things are so expensive in those stores okay um because they take 30 yeah. percent well fortnite turned around and incentivized players to rather than pay google and apple to pay them directly in game mm. and this is on your phones and apple and google turn around and yank them out of the app store and shut their app down because that, you know, voids their contract. Now, yeah. this has been like this forever. And what's funny is it's the same thing with Sony and uh, Microsoft yeah, with PlayStation say, and Xbox. I have a, co a couple of questions. Like, can you download Fortnite on a PlayStation? Yep. And if you do purchases there, it's the same thing. Getting... Yep. What about your PC? Um, no. Once again, P everybody, get rid of your Xbox. PC, get rid of your PlayStation. Look, get rid of your phones. Race. There's a reason PCs are called <laughs> the master race of gaming. They're fantastic, <laughs> you know, they're just the cheaper, better quality, they're they're better all but around. But anyways, I would say so, that Apple and Google Play and all these other platforms, I think they have a well, valid case. Well, I think they do, but here's the funny thing, is Fortnite has turned around and sued Apple and Google. Uh, that's, and that's what from, you gotta do, if somebody sues you, it's like the right, rule that you sue them back <laughs> for whatever reason. Well, they didn't sue them, Google uh, and Apple didn't sue them, they just shut them down. Uh, so Fortnite turned around and opened up a lawsuit here. How are they ever gonna win? I don't know. Well, according to the articles I've been reading, they're making headway here. Yeah. So why? What's their claim? Is that it's wrong that you know Google and Apple are making so they basically have a monopoly. How else do you get apps on your phone? You don't. But then you get a, you get a PC instead. You've well, chosen to get an iPhone. Or here's get the thing: Android. is basically the case Fortnite it has is that they these companies have a monopoly on this. Yeah. And that, well, according to, you know, American law, there, no company is allowed to be a monopoly. Well, you don't really have a monopoly, though, in this case, because they've they've given it to you on multiple different platforms. You can get an Android phone, you can get an Apple phone, you can well, get a PlayStation, you can get an Xbox. They have a, well, it's a monopoly in the sense, well, this is where it's a bit, it's a stretch, but they're making headway. Okay. The case is, is going on. Once I found out that girl sued uh, Red Bull for not being able to give you wings, all I have to say <laughs> is anybody can win any lawsuit. So, so, but Fortnite is suing these, and I just think it's interesting because I never knew they were taking thirty percent off the top. And you know, you know it on occurred top to me, of that, you're probably paying with your Visa credit card, and credit cards take another three to four percent <laughs> off the top too. So, so, but yeah, I, it just occurred to me that you know what? Why why can't we get other apps on our phones? 
Yeah. I don't know. I just, it, it's just a thought. Well, Apple's facility, they're giving you a place, they're giving you the server essentially to, to do this, so they should deserve something. Should it but be here's 30%? the thing, though. They, they prevent know. you from buying. So here's the thing. I can go get my PlayStation, yeah. and I can get other types of things on it okay. that aren't Sony related. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Now, there's other ways. Like, I don't need to buy things through the Sony store. I can go buy the disc. It has nothing to do with Sony. Yeah. And I can just use it on my system. Mm. Sony doesn't get a cut of that. Yeah. So, but there is no third party way to get things onto your phone. So, truthfully, yeah. they really do have a monopoly. There is no other way to get things onto oh, your let phone. Let me ask you another question to consider. If um, Fortnite does win this, how do you think that's going to change the future of apps? Well, I think that's going to open a can of worms that nobody's gone down. What no, I think is going to happen is the app store is going to close. There's nobody's going to be able to get any <laughs> apps, and they're going to say, this is what you guys wanted. Well, yeah, well, Apple's going to lose a lot of their profit margin. So if somebody who's a good uh, computer scientist, now's the time to start delivering or developing another app downloading platform because they might need you pretty soon. Yeah, so, but anyway, I just, that was a, a thing that was sitting in the back of my head. Um, you know... I thought it was interesting. Now, I'm going to move on very quickly, guys. It occurred to me, I'm always trying to generate new passwords because I have so many of them. Mm. Um, I saw a thing today for dice keys. Um, it's basically a box of 24 key or dice that have like random, you know, just letters and numbers you're on them. You're kidding me. This is how you're going to start generating your passwords? I'm thinking about it. I think I've got to be might... one of the most easiest people to hack with the passwords I come up with. Oh, same. I'm, yeah. I it, do the it's... same thing. I just, like, I'll put, like, whatever month it is when I create it, the new one, you know, I'll put a little extra exclamation point on there, you know, whatever it takes. I just feel like my passwords are lacking. Yeah. And I've, like, actually lost any and all creativity and mm. drive to use a new, unique password. You know what else is interesting about passwords? I don't know if your work does this, but, like, my work, which I guess makes sense at the hospital i have to like update it every like two or three months my bank and my credit cards on the other hand i haven't had to update that password once in the entirety <laughs> of having it i feel you my work <laughs> makes me do it every three months yeah and i seriously struggle just, i i i don't know <laughs> i i can only add so many numbers and then it keeps saying end. you have already used this and i'm like i know but it was a year ago does it matter anymore <laughs> like <laughs> like who's keeping tabs on me <laughs> um but the last thing i have guys is uh so last week we talked about how i fixed my itch about <laughs> getting my pokemon game now it came in this past weekend and i tell you what it is everything i remember and more <laughs> oh god this was an itch i have needed to scratch and i'm loving it you're so happy i feel honestly it's bringing back my childhood which you know i'm 27 so it wasn't too long ago but I finally caved and got my Rugrats game. Hey, I have a question for you. So I've got my PlayStation 2 that I can play my PlayStation 2 and my PlayStation 1 games on. Can I play my PlayStation 1 and 2 games on your PlayStation 4 or no? No, you cannot. That's wicked lame. PlayStation, Apple, Google, you guys all blow. Like, I mean, give you me a Microsoft. break. Apple and Google have nothing well, to do with the console. we just complimented Bill Gates as a person, so I feel like I'm not allowed to crap on Microsoft now. <laughs> Look, Bill Gates, you're a great philanthropist, <laughs> but you are a shit game maker. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Just step your Microsoft game up like <laughs> Xbox is lagging behind this year. You know, it's been seven years. You had seven years to get a new console ready, and you're, you're lagging behind. Yeah, well, that's um, wicked lame. What about PlayStation 5? Will I be able to play PlayStation it PlayStation 5 will only be backwards compatible with PlayStation 4. Why do you think that is? And the early PlayStation 3s, the original PlayStation 3s, were backwards compatible with PS2 and PS1. Oh, so um, PlayStation 3, you get the but, most bang for your buck. But the newer model, the late generation PlayStation they 3s, they removed that feature. That's so ridiculous. Um, because I had two PlayStation 3s, and I still have it upstairs. I can't tell you, my PlayStation so. 2 is going to be worth big money one day. <laughs> but, <laughs> all right, guys, we've talked your ear off. Um, we hope you enjoyed this podcast. <laughs> Thank you again for tuning in. Let and... me go through this stuff. Um, somebody give us a rating on Apple iTunes. Uh, currently, it's only two, which I presume is Frankie and I. But, you know, give us a five-star rating, but give us a rating. I'll take a one-star. Um, if you are <laughs> not going to type something in Russian or give us a link to a date, site please comment on our youtube videos it'd be refreshing to get something new 
Um, yeah, go follow us on Dr. and Dork for our Instagram. So we have more than just our eight friends, of which two are me and Frankie. So our six <laughs> friends to follow us. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. We're going to go before the football team rolls out of the field here and you that's can hear true. all their cars. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. And sorry I ran a little late this week. <laughs> we'll talk to you next week. Bye, everyone. Bye.